when does this story where does it start where does this the me as a thing. person if you <laughs> if you are like me who is not aware of anything yet mm. what is the first thing for a person to understand out of this because bas fagile yeah bas fagile we are now in the story now where does this whole yes. thing come about um, uh, in your from your memory okay it is last year i think around june mm-hmm. right I think Pastor Piri was out of the country mm. at that time. So I knew Pastor Piri like anyone knows Pastor Piri from television, television whatever. Mm. So I got an inbox from him and he was like, who are you? Right? Mm. Uh, because according to him, he was abroad and with the reels, he came across my content. Mm. But I've never been like a popular person. It's what, what, what do you post on, on Instagram? I I just post preaching speaking oh, the okay, word okay. sometimes I'm driving to work or driving to ever mm. and I just share what's in my spirit for that time mm. right for me the seventh day background gave me a strong foundation of the word mm. so I'm one person I just share the word because mm. that's all I know even when I was at Christ embassy that's all I know mm. so he was like who are you you know he said to me I'm shocked to see that in South Africa we have young girls who really are like this deep mm. for me i'm one of those people mm. i'm not scared to i would use the word challenge people on the word mm. if i see that no how cuz like lana on this particular yeah, topic you see because i study the word a lot i love the word with all of my heart mm-hmm. so even on my facebook i would take people on to mm. say no are you sure about this yeah, are you sure, you sure about, about this, this? Mm. i'd post scriptures you know that mm. show that um there's something we call this influencers right mm-hmm. we influence people into brands and i believe as well in the kingdom of god there are influence influencers people into... there are people who are very influential yet not sharing the true doctrine mm-hmm. so sometimes i just feel like de-influencing people from lies mm. so that's how a lot of people knew me people would inbox me to say why do you argue with whoever he's so there's a nothing father. different with him he yeah, was also he, reacting like everybody else yeah he's a father in the what what why you see mm. people like no unga unga pendulu bani bani uyi bishop ya ku pam like oh okay i was just sharing the word mm. so he was like wow i'm shocked i went through your page for some time and mm. when i get to south africa i'd like to meet you mm. okay and then he was like i'd like you to come to my show mm. um which is i don't know was it according to the word or something mm. so i'm I, i'm not really a, a tv person mm. so june july around august mm. i was having an event this mm. is last year now i was having a gala dinner this show is with which channel or let's not say let's just yeah. leave it there yeah so i was having an event and i spoke to him to say there's a certain man of god i had invited mm. um the man of god in it there's going to be a problem with his attendance mm. can you please come and replace the person mm. he was like no perfect because I'm also attending an event mm. um on the same date and your event is in Centen and also the event I'm attending is in Centen. Okay, cool. He came through with the kids. It was that he ministered mm. and he left. Right? So, I, I was staying in Polokwane. Since that time we always talking. He like I'd like to meet you, you know, I'd like to interview you. On you that see? that time when he came to your event You didn't get time to to talk or no, no. but you saw him yes okay yeah and mm. then there was that and he left mm. but he would talk to me like time and again <laughs> you know if i had something i wanted to do in joburg mm. i would say to him please ask your driver maybe to drop off someone for me or whatever since i was that side and then there was that and mm. would talk you like i want to meet you i mm. also wanted to meet him but sometimes like we busy mm, we mm. busy right so i told him i was moving back to joburg mm. we spoke when i was in polokwane i told him i'm moving back to joburg and he was like oh okay and then people came they fetch my stuff the truck came move my things to joburg mm. i had a few things left and i said to him you know what i don't think my car would it's small you need other all these things, things to yeah. fit I need your bike because there are some of my events where he sent his driver to fetch maybe my guest speaker or drop off whatever. So we spoke around that then I said to him you know what I'm sorted. Mm. I I managed to get another 
other people mm. to move my stuff. So we talk while I was here. You check on me. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Mm. We keep on planning to meet, but it didn't happen. Mm. Right? Till this year. You won't believe we spoke for over a year. Mm. Till this year on the 17th of June. So before, before you guys met, if you had a little bit of a inconvenience or something that was a little bit off you needed help with you would ask Who'd him talk, and what like, you know, so everything was fine yes and then this year that was the first time you guys we met okay we we used to talk you just share with me i'm on my way to work um you know things like that mm. so this year on the 17th of june you won't believe i met this person only on the 17th of june and there's been so much that happened. <laughs> in 90 days, literally, it's like a drama <laughs> like of... Like the TV, like the TV show. <laughs> it's like a drama of 100 years. So we met on the first day. Mm. So when we met, I think we met in Greenstone or something. I can't remember. Oh, it wasn't an event. No. It was just a direct we direct are meeting. we are mm. meeting. Mm. So we met on the first day we met. Mm. His brother was there. Um, his driver was there, I was there, that was that. And then he said to me, you know, we, I've got a headache, do you mind if I have some wine? Mm. It's like, no, I don't mind, mm. why would I judge you? Mm -mm. You know, I know a lot of people when they go out, oh, they drink, yeah. so go ahead. They don't drink to, yeah. to be finished. They but just... he drinks to be finished. <laughs> so um, that was that. Mm. So we started talking. He's always said to me, you know, I like you. So he asked me, do you mind if I had some wine? But I could see he, he was anxious, okay. like shaky. Mm. For me, okay, any person with problems, that's my person. I mean, I, me, oh, okay, so I get why you <laughs> wanted to, to relate. Yes. The helpful hand thingy. Okay. Yes. So... Mina, if I meet a person and I hear that this person is a mess, mm. you are my project. Mm. I think ever since it's been me, I, I love to take on projects. Okay. I love to see something coming from a mess and eventually being... The beauty of yeah. out of ashes, yes. So I thought, okay, this guy. Mina, I, I didn't just look at it in a physical way. I could pick up, okay. I, I, I could see he was sweating a bit and I thought, okay, he's sick. He's on pills. You know, mm. gonna help him because mm. I did order him a whole lot of things that I thought would help him, right? Mm -hmm. So we spoke. He told me this is where I am. But by this time, you said he had been. He had told you, like you. Yes, Dala for over uh, a year. Okay. But I was just not coming just to not the coming party to because, the party. as well, at that time I had someone that I was dating. Mm. Um, we were a very nice, cute couple, mm. but mm. the person was not born again. Okay. Also, the whole story that Solomon has been trying to, the narrative he's been trying to push up on me mm. is the fact that I've been married, was it four or five or six times or whatever? I I've haven't lost watched count. the video. <laughs> <laughs> I've married lost for count. six times. Eh? That's what he said. I, I was, I did have someone I was married to, then things didn't work out. I stayed in Joburg and I moved to Polokwane. So you've I, never been married? I've been married once. Okay. Right? I moved to Polokwane. I met a very handsome young doctor. I haven't seen your, the, the videos. This is what I relate that. I, I did see the first video when he mm. announced your relationship. Yes. And so, and I didn't watch the whole video because by that time in thingy, I was busy with another story that oh, I was Oh, I, I saw your page was very busy this week. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I never saw, just for someone who might be seeing and saying, Ricky, how are you not aware? Yes. We, we have two different content, like uh, different content direction. My yeah. issues are mostly doctrinal. I st yes. try to stick to those type of things. By that time, I just felt like I was a linear trash. Okay. Right? And I met someone, he was from, these people who knock on doors, Jo yes, Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> Focus person. We we were cool. We were yeah. cool. He's a doctor. I'm working at BMW. There is no way you mm. can be with a person you're not equally yoked with. Yeah. As much of a fixer that I thought I am. This is not going to work. Doctrine is no, a very huge... No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah but, so that didn't work. I was back in Joburg. I met Pastor Piri. 
And I thought, he, he asked me, have you heard what people were saying about me? I said, no, I've heard a few bad stories. On the same you. day when he asked to take Yes, it. right. I said, no, I've heard a few things about you. But for me, and that's truthful, I prefer to know a person for myself. Mm -hmm. I, I've never taken any story of anyone, but he wins and he know. Mm -hmm. um, let me burn me, then I, I, I will know that you're a burner. But... Seeing with myself, there's a lot of people who don't know me, but mm. because I love makeup, I love weaves and whatever, I'm yeah. labeled a Jezebel, a slay queen. Um, she's probably just getting it creates spoiled. the narrative yeah. of what they she's don't like. She's probably getting spoiled by men all the time, whatever. <laughs> I work so hard, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> mm. so I know if people can judge me, they can judge other people mm. unfairly, mm. right? So when I got eventually started seeing some of the things with Pastor Piri, mm. I could see, good. okay, there's a few things that are true. Pastor Piri, as a human being, has got a beautiful heart, yeah. um, a giver of note, a lover of note, mm. someone who is very used by a lot of people. Mm. Um, the short space I've been on Pastor Piri, I would mention a lot of people, ministers, artists, anytime they're in trouble, they'd call him and he'd give them money. Yeah, that's Pastor Perry for mm. you. Um, there is no person who's all bad, mm. right? So we yeah, might, it's, that's a facade. Yeah, we want to no see an idea that the person is all bad. And if I were to sit here and say Pastor Perry is a bad person, you'd be doing. I, I would be lying. Yourself a lie. mm. The man has just went through a lot. Mm. Um, he has a heart condition and has a drinking problem. Yeah. So when the heart medication and the and the drinking come together mm. he just, just loses his mind um he i think he by now you'd maybe play a video i'll send you a video of mm. how he becomes but as a human being i don't think he's bad damaged yes broken yes um rejected yes misjudged sometimes yes mm. right but he needs uh he ju he's the just sanctification a, aspect needs to come to play where yes. Uh, the Paul says, I bid my body yes. to think. You know, sometimes we, we lift our hands too much to say, you know, do it, Lord. And we don't bear in mind. There's that voice as well that says this direction. Yes. And you have to listen to that and kind exactly. of like nudge yourself into the right direction. So, me, just for us not to have hours interview, I would say when I came to Pastor Perry's life, mm. I realized a lot of bad people in his life. Mm. Um, he was seeing a few people and people who were drinking, mm. people who would drink with him, people who would keep him away from church. Not You cannot keep a person away from church, but people who would condone. If he says, I'm not going to church, that's they, they don't that's cool. press on it. Mm. So me and him had this, you know, heads knocking because I mean, I'm a very firm person. I'm sweet. I'm soft but i'm firm yeah. if i say this if it's, it's a no this, it's a no it's a no it's a no yeah if sunday for me i go to church i don't care if you're calling me for whatever i'm not coming to, to that right yeah so, so if he has people that are saying otherwise yes it becomes yes so he would go out on saturdays on sunday i would check up on him i would call the driver i would always try and make sure make sure Mfundis goes to church yeah me and his driver that was our life every saturday we talk me, I can go to his house, prepare clothes for him. Accountability. You know, we, we, I tried that. Mm. So with him coming out and painting me as that, um, I think the demons in him hate the fact that I was trying to pull him out of a pit. He's in a very bad pit. I won't lie. So before we talk about that part, um, it, it helps having people that say no. Yeah. And I think we, we've, we've gotten used to this generation where if I say no, it must mean I have a personal agenda, agenda against yes. a person. I, I can say no to, 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 you, to something that you're thinking. It pisses you off. It's okay. Yeah. We'll meet ahead of Exactly. Uh, and me now, I think I'm a robber, so no sayer. If mm. I told him that you're not going to go out because you're going to church, I'm a person I would even take his car keys everything just to make sure but you'd end up requesting ubers and going wherever he wanted to go mm. right so as we met we would meet have dates whatever but i would pick up on certain things actually what made me pick up a lot was when other people knew now 
so many no pasta piri. He would be booked for work like Soweto TV mm. and he wouldn't pitch and people would call me. Mm. So that's where I realized and for me he would say I went I'm at work. But the people he would claim to be at work with would call me to be like hi sorry to bother you have you seen Pastor Piri? We're looking for Pastor Piri. Mm. We're having a shoot or whatever. He would not pitch. He would not go. Yeah. Then I realized, Gutila, something is going on. And any time I would try to call him, I wouldn't be able to get hold of him, mm. right? Up until one day, I received a call. I think I was getting ready for my night prayer. I received a call from a lady mm. called Gukushezi. I was at the mall. This is after... So basically, once the relationship became public, it brought all this yes. to say, wait a minute. Yes. You yes. with this person, can you keep them accountable? And then this is where this... Yes, this is when this whole thing, this is where Solomon picked up on the story and wrote about me, a slay queen. For me, this is who I am. Mm. I just want to put this out there to say, I love beauty. Mm. I've, I've read the scriptures. Mm. Everything, money on its own is not evil. Money takes the character of a person. Mm. Makeup on its own, it's not evil. Unless I'm putting on makeup with the intention to say I'm putting it on to go and seduce men. Mm. That's where it becomes evil. Beauty is not evil. If it was evil, God would have never made us beautiful. Mm. And I'm never going to come and apologize for my preferences that do not interfere with my salvation mm. or do not harm the Holy Spirit, do not harm people from coming. They don't distance coming. you from no, God. No, no. Mm. And to be honest with you, a lot of women are now in in my ministry, because also when they go to church, they feel judged. I went to school for beauty. It's not uh, something that I'm not. I'm just gonna throw away. To personally, I think people overemphasize things that are not exactly. important. It's not important. There are subjects that, yeah, like the subject matter of uh, holiness of holiness movement. The holiness movement is the mm. one that came up with the whole subject of makeup is evil and whatnot. Yeah. And personally, to be honest with you. It's a subject matter that I think it's a non-issue. It's definitely it's a non issue. A, it's not a doctrinal topic. Like At when a person all. make it a doctrinal problem, I'm like, come on, come no. down. But anyways. Yeah, so that's when um people like Solomon especially picked started, up the story. Picked up the story to say, Oh, um, we see that Pastor Piri has found love. On his first video, he said, I want to go and warn this woman about Pastor Piri. Okay. Does she know who... Well, that's the part that I saw. From yeah. Marriage. Does she know who Pastor Piri is? Because Pastor Piri is a drunkard. He first tried to bash Piri. With me, I'm a loyalist. If I say to you, I'm standing with you, trust you me, come rain or whatever. You're trying to bring out the beauty. Yeah. yeah. I, I will stand with you. I don't know till God says stop. Mm. Um, so I, I still stood with Piri. When he saw that him bashing Piri didn't work, he changed now. He stopped bashing Piri and came to me, right? Started mm. bashing me, a slay queen, what, what, makeup, Jezebel. Do you have any history that, with him? With Solomon, do you know him? I don't know Solomon. Um, so, I mean, like, had he ever posted anything about you before? Never. Okay. What had happened, I had an issue whereby... A pastor from Venda. Mm. I, I sell cars. So I'm talking to my other friend who's a pastor. And then he introduced me to his friend to say, this one is also in the car sales thingy. Mm. So I would have clients who get declined. But someone would say, okay, I've got 200,000. What other car can I get? Or a lesser car? Or they're declined. Mm. So I got introduced to this person. And this person, this bishop said, Mina, I'm able to help people who are blacklisted. Then mm. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I had a client mm. who was a doctor. I introduced the talk doctor to the bishop. The bishop took 50,000 from him. That's the first time I had an encounter with Solomon, right? So Solomon... So the money, the money aspect of that deal. Yeah. That's where Solomon spoke to me. I spoke to Solomon because I wrote about it on my Facebook. He picked it up. We spoke. He ran the story. That okay. thing, we moved on from it. Mm. So when he saw Piri with me, I don't think he recognized me. Only later, he sent Pastor Piri a message and he said, um, this girl owes me. And I was like, Pastor Piri asked me, do you owe know Solomon? Okay. He's like, oh, Solomon, what? Mm. Hey, no, that's, that's a... In the reason. So, yeah, well, so <laughs> there was that, but he he continued to pick on me and I was not bothered. Mm. With everything, I believe that people who know you know you.
Yeah. That's it. Right? So I kept on having these things, these fights then with Pastor Piri because of lack Accountability. of... Accountability. Uh, yes. Can you appear here? They're yes. saying you are not here. Yes. You're doing you say, what a person... Yes. You guys are dating at this yes, period, right? Yes, we're dating at this point. Mm. So if to me, you're going to put up an advert, a video on TV that people should go to your church, you're going to pitch. If you're in my life, trust me, you're going to pitch there. So it would be those things. And you'd say, I hate being controlled. I hate being controlled. I'm keeping you accountable. Yes, mm. I'm not controlling you. I'm making you accountable. There's a, a trillion, a lot of posters you would see with Pastor Piri's face, but you never see him at the event. Yes, and I told him, it's not on, mm. right? And when he's sober, he would say to me, I like this. You are helping me. But once he is with people, Abam Puzisayo, then he would start sending me crazy voice notes. Mm. You, you, you are controlling me. You are a psycho. When he sobers up, You'd call the, because I would avoid his calls and you'd call the brother, please talk to Tuli, I'm sorry. You'd call his mom. He'd put me and his mom on a call to say, Mama, please, I love Tuli. Mm -hmm. I also don't understand what's happening with me. Mm -hmm. You know, one day he was drinking and he sat there and he just said to me, the principalities are fighting you. They don't want me to be with you. Like, hello, what? This is just, can you just be decisive? It didn't yeah. say there's nothing what, to do with that. But what principality is that for me? It's one of the things where I picked up Ukuti, the person, something is not wrong. Mm. Something is very wrong. I spoke to the brother. I told him, I said, something is very wrong. Mm. The man needs help. You can see I'm trying, but it's like, because once I help him from this stage, he goes back. And Makabuya, we are ours, right? So I would, tell, I would tell him, I know that you're seeing other women. Oh, I was telling you, the lady called me. The Gugu lady. The mm. Gugu Shezi lady. She was screaming, hi, hi. She was swearing mm. words that I'm not going to repeat mm -hmm. here. She was swearing, Mina Utawanga Nyalanya, Ukuti, for nine to ten years, Nsempule Nalo Mundu. And I'm like, hey, 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 hold up. Wait, She's why? like, mm. you know who I am. Don't act like, you know, it's like when you think you're in a man's life, you think the man mentions you everywhere he goes. Can't can you are you his bed. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows you. And I referred to him. I said to him, Sidi, go to an article where your man spoke about me declaring to the continent. So he, he made the relationship public. He made... He made the relationship public. He took our pictures that we took in confidence, a photo shoot we had, and he took it to the tabloids. Mm. Go to talk to him. And she, Ukuku, said to me, no, when I call him and put us in a call, so it three, I said, Sisi, no, you are mad. I'm not going to do that. Mm. If this is your man, you should have access to him. Mm -hmm. You should be able to talk to him. You shouldn't need me to mm. put you guys together. Mm. Then she was like... So the relationship becoming public brought about... Yes. All these calls, it Your, brought about all yeah, this... The drama. The drama that yes. really came up. Eh. And you know, he would always say to me, there are things I'm dealing with. Please give me time for me to get rid of them. And I told him, when you meet a person, you tell a person everything. You should have prepared me for all of this, right? And then one time I was at his house with my sister again. Mm. Because anytime I went to visit him, really, I would take someone along because... I knew he's not a relatable person. Either he would be sloshed or... So I'd always just take someone to keep me company. Mm. So I went I with my sister. Mean... He would be drunk. Okay, okay. So I went with my sister. As we were there, um, his ex-wife started calling. Um, him? Calling him, okay. right? Or is your, your number, the, you have a number that's public? Yes, I've oh, got a so number. Oh, so that's that how she got, the, yes. the, the other lady got the number. So mm. the ex-wife called and he he was tired. He just said, answer my phone. I told you there are things I'm dealing with and this is one of the problems. I answered mm. and she said, hello. I said, hi, what he, I said, he's here, but I don't think he wants to talk. Mm. Then she said, you know what? I know you are trying to protect your space, but I'm worried about him. He wa I'm trying to call him. He's not picking up. Then I said, no, don't worry. He's fine. Mm. If anything, I don't even think you the person who, who we we'll would... put him off. Yeah, no. I, I said to her, since you're the ex, if there's anything wrong with Piri, I don't think you mm. are the person. Okmele, like, 
the problems would be directed to. He's got a family, he's got a brother, he's got brothers, he's this side, mm -hmm. his family's alive. So if you call him and he doesn't pick up, just know he's fine. Mm. She got into the car, drove to Pierre's place. When you're there? Same time. She didn't waste time. Got there. You are there with your sister? I'm there with my sister. Upire has got two drivers, right? Usbu and Greg. Mm. So they called Greg. She said to Greg, um, Upasta is in trouble. Like, there's a situation. Mm. You, we need you. Because at his place, it's not easy to come in. Oh, okay, he, yeah, yeah. So I don't know how he did it, but eventually they came in. But when she came in, mm. Piri didn't allow me to talk to her. He gave, he also didn't want to come out. He told the daughter, I'll come out only if your mother leaves because your mother didn't, didn't have to come here. Mm. So she left and Upiri spoke. The daughter asked to talk to me. I said, about Why? what? Mm. Like, I'm not even married to your dad. Mm. Me and you have nothing to talk about. Because mm. what she would do, anytime the father didn't pick up the call, she would send me messages on Instagram. Mm. I didn't understand what we were not introduced at that level yet we didn't have to have that relationship at mm. that point mm. right so she would inbox me so also in the night she said to libra but i was not on my instagram she kept on texting why are you doing this i'm coming there what do? then i gave her my number i said call me mm. then she came she said no it's fine i'm coming with i'm coming love they came together but piri didn't allow me and her to have an interaction meaning the daughter and the mom, right? From there, we moved on. Things were okay. Um, now you know the family, you know, you, you're building a relationship of, of this a little bit of chaos here, yes, but yes. relationships are being built. Yeah, that was that. And then, kanani, kanani, these women would call him when I'm with him and he'd be like, he couldn't answer. Then I said, man, we've got a problem here. In mm. Atinji, you've got issues, mm. right? I asked him, who is this Gugu? Because the first time Gugu called me, he just said, when Gugu called me, I think he was in Indonesia. And I told the brother to say, He you was know in what? Indonesia? Yes. Mm. I said, For a job or just holiday? He, he does a lot of corporate speakings. Okay. He's no longer a lot into ministry, but he does a lot of corporate work. Mm. So he had traveled for that. Mm. So I told the brother, Kutaibo, something strange is happening. Mm. Someone called me by the name of Gugu. The brother said, don't ignore the person. Whose brother? Piri's brother. Okay. Just said, ignore the person. Like, mm. there is nothing with that person. Mm. If there was a person you should worry about, I was going to tell you. Okay. Right? So, I just forgot about the Google person. Mm. But she would call. I would see calls, Shezi. Then, oh, Google, I don't know what she wants from me. You know, she must leave me alone. So, we would have those constant things and new names would come mm. up now right so would have those constant issues ladies and alcohol ladies and alcohol different other ladies different other ladies there's a lady as well called lumka you know it, it just it was different people yeah. at different times so this and whole this thing, is nothing by the way this has nothing to do with all these other people the 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 the, the only place that they play a role in this story is that they were part of the chaos that was yes. happening in the relationship yes. and you're trying to sort yourself. Yes. You're trying to understand your position. Okay, what's happening? Yeah. You know, and a lot of times I would say to him, no, no, I, I mean, I'm he would say, trust me, give me a week. I will sort this out. All these people will stop calling me up until this Google person didn't stop. Like she would just send me even, I blocked her actually. I blocked her on WhatsApp. I blocked her from my Facebook. I blocked her. One day she sent me an in Instagram message mm. and on some you toss or something. Mm -hmm. I just blocked her. Mm. I stayed away. So on the day she called me again, I said, you know what? Let me go ask Piri what's happening. Mm. I got to Piri. Utagi. Mm. But Makatagiwe, that's where now this current drama comes from. Makatagiwe, he is saying he wants to go. I'm like, go away. Mm. I'll send you the video that you can show the state at which he on Solomon's blog said, I kidnapped him or I what? Yeah, I held him hostage. Mm. The man is drunk. He can't even articulate words. Mm. So I thought there's no point for me to question this person. I saw. 
he wants to leave i said you're not gonna go drive anyway this is now two weeks three weeks ago i'm saying three that weeks kid, ago from now yes when we are recording this yes i said there is no way you're not going anyway said hang because with period there is no stop he can say to you okay ngelu puza one class you allow him the class it he won't stop for days because if you allow him this night tomorrow he'll say i've got withdrawals i need to serve the withdrawals after the withdrawals it's something else and all these things my fight was that they are keeping you from being productive you can't go to church you can't go to work mm. you can't go to engagements you are just entertaining alcohol you're distancing yourself from people because you're not being productive yes. you know, I, i remember even mcgian saul this week mm. they were saying the same thing we're we becoming can, impro- unproductive because if you drink today let me tell you tomorrow you'll have that headache you need to nest the headache wednesday woke up missed the flight <laughs> had to rebook and get a later flight why couldn't you get around though i was, tired. was tired i was drunk bro the whole time i was passed out bro have you been following the story i've been passed your, out since friday your poor liver because uh, <laughs> the other day it's a hangover or oh, but it's things that make you not to work mm. i said to him he asked me straight up to lee you are so focused you business minded i need you to help me to rebuild he he was very clear when we met mm. i need you to help me to rebuild so in me helping you i'm gonna hold you accountable yeah. i'm gonna make sure i do what you asked me to do i told him you're not going anywhere he took his phone he called the security mm. I'll so let's you. so the drama of kidnap put that out i'm yeah. trying to help you become productive yeah. right so he, he took his phone he called the securities mm. so as he he called the securities and he asked them to come so my get busy phone i just took his phone to say and one thing the man does makapuzile he'll just do random calls if i tell you prominent people have spoken to you'll be shocked these are people he calls randomly makapuzile talk to my girl he can call presidents talk to my girl piri is someone he knows relevant people yeah. but he would do all these things at the wrong time mm. he'd call people preachers I don't even know if I can even name their names no <laughs> he'll just call i'm sure now but they'd be shocked random times random calls talk to my girl you know that's what he would do so i just took his phone so we we sitting he's sitting there we waiting for the security's mind mm. i took his phone man petty phone yeah okay the girls are calling again i i hang up the phone and i just said let me go through the phone pella you know at that point he's drunk he mm. doesn't even have the energy have the to energy. grab the phone or whatever he's just sitting there i went through the phone I was shocked that the Sunday after the Ngomas he told me he on the Saturday of the Ngomas which was three, two weeks ago it was his son's birthday he was with the son I spoke with the son mm-hmm. everything was well Sunday we were supposed to meet he said to me no I can't meet you something came up only to find out later that night Yakona he was with the ex-wife those are the pictures that I saw Oh you saw those pictures when you had that phone by the yes. time when he was Yes mm-hmm. I saw pictures I went through pictures. I saw okay last week you at Metro FM Ubuno Kuku. Here are pictures of him and Kuku at the Metro FM studios. Mm. Okay, dude. Kwenza Kalani, you know. Mm. So now when I've got the, his phone, a lot of things are coming to light. Everyone he denied. I could see pictures. He loves taking pictures. Mm. Compromised sometimes, yeah. sometimes soberly so. Pictures with his ex-wife, pictures no Kuku. pictures with different women i went through his facebook women on his inboxes threatening him now it made sense to me why the men can't even go to church sometimes because these women are saying to him we'll come to your church and expose you we'll come wherever you going and expose you so he drinks a lot because he thinks he is running from all these problems one thing i said to him mm. I said to you I'm Zalende Lana doesn't to yeah. follow you. Mm. I said to him I'm here let everyone come out let all the scandals come out now mm. deal with them and be able to build because now I can't help you rebuild anything because when these things come out Zizo Mosha everything would have rebuilt mm. so rather deal with them deal with them face what the wrongs you did 
Face Even the brother was there. You I can't said, leave on a gun. Yeah. Before you go on with that. You can't leave on a gun. Confess. Let's move. Let's move. If Piri can outward come with his bank statement, mm. you'll be shocked at people he pays that um about manipulate you. Yeah, you can't do that. They he has to pay those girls because they manipulate him, they blackmail him. So I said to him, let the scandals come out. For him to go to Solomon now, he is scared as well. He's trying to redeem himself because he thought Minangzom exposed. I've, I'm not here for that. That night the securities came in. I spoke to them. Mm. I told them, I'll show you. I took a video of everything that night. I told the security person, I said to him, you know, I feel bad even that you are here because this person in the morning, he won't even remember. He won't even know why you were here. Mm. But you have to do your job. And the guy asked me, where's the key? I said, the key is with me. I, I can't. I won't give it to him. Mm. He said to me, why? I said, I will only give the key if the brother at least is here, but not to Piri. I won't give him his car keys. I won't give him his house key. He's not going to drive anywhere this time of the night. So the securities tried to calm him. Eventually he was calm because Bekashanya, he was not his normal self. Mm. At that night, I could not even confront him about anything that I saw, right? So the securities left. We stayed there. I said to him, you know what, Minangya Hamba? I wish his security estate can give us a video. I said to him, Nya Hamba, I want you to sleep. I'll be back very early in the morning. When I left, he followed me to my car. Okay. We both left his place. And he says they I locked him up for five. No, we both left. As we're driving, I asked him, when are we happy? Let's go back to your place. It's now like 2 a.m. We went back to the place. Walala. I at least managed to get him to sleep. In the morning, he woke up. I told him, I've got, I was going to shoot something. I'll talk to you later. Mm. But the things that I saw on your phone. It's enough. So he drank again when I left. I called a friend of mine on that Saturday. I think this was now on Wednesday or Thursday. Saturday, he's supposed to be preaching in Lesotho. And I told him, unfortunately, Lomundo Shumalakwe is my friend. You're going to go there, let out. However, where you're going to go to Lesotho, you are going to go to Lesotho. I called his close friend, Bishop Ledwaba. I said, Bishop, it's Wednesday today. I need you to go and pick up Mfun Supiri, take him to Lesotho, let him sober up for two to three days. By the time the event comes, at least yes. Uzoba right. And then they got there on Wednesday, Thursday. You know, you know what's in my head right now mm. is that when you say he he did he probably did the interview because he thought yes. you're gonna out these things. Yeah, th that's what that's what he says also in the interview, yeah. right? So he. Don't judge yourself before the thing yes. is. Just clean up. Clean, clean house. Up. Yeni, he went to Solomon thinking I'm going to fight him. Can't you mean I know? You're not there. I'm not there. So he, he the, the tabloids, they call him now after the night. Then in the tabloids, he says, no, no. Mm, yeah, we broke up me and Twil. Because in his mind. Oh, the break, there was no breakup. There was no breakup eventually. And I will, I will give you the proof that there was no breakup. But Upiri panics. That's his number one weakness. He panics. That's why people are manipulating him and he's paying them. He, he's, he's anxious. He's been so much in the public with bad things. Anytime you say to him a bad thing, he panics and he tries to do damage control. So I asked his friend, Bishop Ledoaba, I said, please, please pick Umfundisi, take him to Umfundisi U Jackson, drive the men to Lesotho. They took him on Wednesday. Thursday, he got extremely sick because he had forgotten his medication, his mm. heart medication. They called me. They said, Tuli, we are not coping. The man is extremely sick. He's shaking. He's anxious. He can't breathe. Is it withdrawals? Yes, it's withdrawals and also the heart condition. Yes, sir. Right? So they said to me, we don't know. We're driving him to the hospital. Mm. I said to them. Does he have a personal doctor? He doesn't. Ha he even dodges. Yeah, now in October, he's supposed point. to go and see the doctor. I don't know if he has went or he didn't go. Mm. So they call me. They said the situation is bad. Mina, I, I allow him to use his medication, but I also treat him on There's medications like I order for him from 
I said to them, guys, it's fine. I'm going to start driving now mm. and get there. I know the calming effect I have. I know. They said he, he's not sleeping. He's anxious. He's sweating. Mm. He can't breathe. I got there. I had those products. Um, I went there. I called a doctor friend of mine and I explained to him, this person is taking this medication, but at this point, we don't have it. What over-the-counter medication can I give him? He told me I bought the medication, drove to Lesotho, Got to Lesotho, I think, around 1 a.m. Sure. Got there. The man was in a bad state. Mm. He had not slept. From that time, me and him were fighting. He had just been like drinking. Like 48 hours. Yes, more than that. So he was shaking. He was in a terrible state. I got there, gave him medication, got him to bath, changed him. Nyam Lisa... You know, anyone who knows me and Piri, mm. his drivers, his brother, they know. For that short space of time. <laughs> yeah, Piri was like my child. I mm. feed him. He does not even use his own fork. Mm. I feed him. I give him food like a child. Mm. I cut pieces of meat for him to soft pieces. Mm. I got there. I fed him, gave him the medication, gave him the alu. The man slept. Something he had not done for days. Right? So... For stop me, panicking, Jesus Christ. Just stop panicking. You know, he, he can accept. never stop. No, he no. was anxious. What made him anxious was the fact that he saw me and Madam Speaker. Because after that article he did, I just... What article? <laughs> Nanzas listen to There's an article that was doing the rounds on... on Whatever it time Sunday right? Times what is it about? Sunday Times, uh, Piri declared she broke up Notuli because Tuli locked her up. Okay, so okay. on that, I'm portrayed. So now as, people are clear on what exactly yes, happened. Yes, he was uh, not okay. Yes, he was intoxicated. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm displayed like a crazy psychotic girlfriend who went there to lock the man up. Lock him for what? And he's going to endanger himself. If you are might... sober, number one, I would not have locked you. Because if you're sober, me and you are going to risen. And you also are going to take the key. I'm, I'm so tiny. There's, there's a danger of, you know, you, you knock someone, that's a criminal. And I'll show you, you play the videos of <laughs> why I had to, to keep him in the house. So we got there, the man got better. Friday, I said, there's no way the man can preach. Um, he greeted the people and sat down. A friend, yeah, I came in. Elisut. Elisut. But at least he was At present. least he was there and well. Mm. If I show you the picture, Zake, he was well because he was eating. Number one, he runs from me because I make him eat. Yeah, Abantu Bojwala again, that's a yes. difficulty they yes. have. I make him eat, I make him bath, I make him show up. He he runs from me like crazy for those reasons because I, I, I make sure that you're going to be a human being. What other human beings do, you're going to do. If they eat, you're going to eat. If they bath, you'll you're find bath. your value. Basically. Yes, you'll mm. find your value. Mm. If you, sh I show you the video, the state I found him on, his genes were so dead, you could tell he had not changed for days. That's cool. Sir. Exactly. Mm. Right? There is one voice note I would send to you that he said to me, to be honest, in my life, you are the only person who ever reminds me of who I am. Labanye, mm. they enjoy my misery. That's nothing to to to. You see, so when Lesotho, we came back the Saturday, we, I was at home. He left. Mm. He called me and he said to me, "I would like to see you again because I realize I've wronged you. I'm sober now and I've read the article." And so, the, did the article? Oh, the article contained the breakup. Yes. And there was no breakup. It there was, was no, just panic. Yes. Yes. Okay. No. So he called me. He, like, we had literally seen each other in a few hours. He said, I'm coming back to you. He said, I realized, manje, because I'm sober. I've done a lot of damage. And he asked me, when you came to Lesotho, had you already seen the article? I said, yes. So that was bad. Hearing those things, he asked me, when you came to Lesotho, had you already listened and heard all of this? I said, yes. And he asked me, why did you come? Exactly, because I care. Because I care about you. Mm. And at that time, he is in my life. Anything that would have happened in Gaye, it would have been blamed on me. And I'm happy that I left period. Because people know you as the caring one and the hand that's kind of keeping him yes. along his path. Yes, and all his friends can come you. and testify of that. Mm. 
only him and his side and his go other girlfriends and the ex-wife won't ad- attest to this. But I've got over 10 voice notes I can play for you where he's thanking me. Thank you because now I'm, I'm getting better. Mm. So when we came back from Lesotho, mm. he, I posted pictures of me in the church, but he was sitting at the back. All the girlfriends called him. Now we're back in the country. The whole week his phone was off while he was in Lesotho. Mm. We're back in the country. They're calling him. They're threatening him again. Iban. They're threatening him. I thought we okay. Everyone was shocked. to table. He started drinking again. And that's where I said I give up. Like, I give up. There is no way. So I blocked him. I didn't want to talk to him again because after he had came back, me and him, we didn't even go to a restaurant. Oh, so the blocking probably made him think. Exactly. He, it made him think. Me and him, the, the last time I saw Pastor Piri was the Saturday when we came from Lesotho. He came back. We went. We parked in a parking at a mall. We sat in the car. He said to me, I see now what's happening. Nyabona. Um, the mess. My life is a mess. I'm allowing people to pull me. I, I like, you know, stuff. I said to him also on that day, hmm. allow everything to be public and restart your life. Until then, you live in anxiety, you're you increasing know, your own anxiety. He because can't, now. the man, you know, when I first saw Pastor Perry, he could not sleep. He, he was not sleeping at night. Um, me, him and his brother, we normally call it shifts. When he's with the, the brother, the brother would say, my shift is finished, please come. Hump. Hump. Then, yes. The the driver would call me to say, I am managing Funkia somewhere. It's your turn. Because we have to look after him around the clock. And and this is not in a bad way. It's in the light of saying we're trying to protect. We're trying to help you. For that becoming yes. we trying to how help everybody you. knows you. Right? Exactly. But I guess sometimes you try to... But you know what? When you say this, I'm sorry for cutting you. When you say this, it just brings back the article that came out of him at the wife's thingy. There was an article that once came up. When he broke. Into he, the thing and he was taken to jail. And I was like... Yes. He, he gets like that. So we are... Even the night I locked him, I was... Prote- I knew, you know, Jay, Upiri, when he's drunk, sick things happen. Mm. And things that when he wakes up, he will regret. So you need to protect him from himself. So it's not just at the wife, even me, I have a video I can show mm-hmm. where he was doing exactly what the wife got him arrested for. When he drinks and the heart medication, it go, it affects his his mm-hmm. thinking. He mm-hmm. can't think. Mm-hmm. He can do the craziest of things. He can just come barefooted. Uzbuz guti. Where, what happened? You see, so we were protecting him from such things that he didn't get. So when I blocked him, he thought, okay, Tuli blocked me. Let me go to Solomon. And Nimulise, before she even says anything. And at that time, I'm quiet. I'm not saying anything. He, I'm he quiet. shot himself in the leg. Yeah, he actually shot himself in the leg. But maybe this is the best way for thingy. Don't please don't do more damage control. It's calm okay. down. It's okay. <laughs> Pass up here. It's okay. Just calm dude. down, dude. Just accept rebuilding. But you're only gonna accept rebuilding if you, are, you accept the mess. You see, this is his brother's number. I talk to the brother every day. We check on period. Both even now, yesterday. Um, he said to me, Tuli, um, thank you for being sober. Because if you are another person, after the, the broadcast, yeah, Solomon, yeah, much. You, for I don't have time for war. Um, I don't fail in assignments. And even Piri is not an assi- assignment that I'm going to fail. Mm. Pastor Piri will get pe- better if he wants. He will get better. We will support him. Not pitching, pitching. Leave no, pitching. No, no. 
No. Rebuild. Rebuild. Stop taking the threats. Yes. Stop taking messages you've the done wrong. L- yes. Fix yourself. Fix. Come out and say I dated who? I dated who? I dated who? I'm done I, with this I'm one. Done. I'm yeah, done with this done. one. But Dante yeah. online actually. <laughs> That's it. Let okay. me tell you Piri the way he cannot solve problems. The reason when me and him took pictures, he went to the tabloids. He thought there was his way of dumping all these girls. You see, he's always panicking and doing things. Right? So when he put us, he thought these girls would leave. Little did he know, even the ones that left started coming back. And to saying, say, Excuse me. Like Abby, who is this Who's tool this that one? you are public with? What You see, he, he had no way of sorting out his mess. Mm. And now he goes to Solomon and tries to bash me with things that are not there. And one thing with Solomon... In everything he's ever said about me, he's never had a proof. All the men he accuses me of, he's never had a name. He'll mm. say, a man in Northwest, a man in what? Who are they? Are they? Mm. If they're by a pillar, they should have names. Stop. Stop and the, 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 that, that narrative. Let's stop. get to the reality of it. You can't... Get help. And I'm also still available to help Pastor Piri. Mm. Um, you know, one thing me and my ex like to say... Mm. We have failed as relationship in a relationship um, for the sake of Umtana. We You're are brother. Yes, we are brother and a sister in the Lord. Mm. That's why even any time when these things come up, he calls me, Nana, are you fine? Mm. Say, I'm okay. Because we failed a relationship, but we are not going to fail each other as a brother and a sister in the Lord. Mm. So that's the same feeling I have with Pastor Piri. Um, we normally say, we don't throw away the child with the dirty water. I will stand here and say, even after the Solomon's video, I still believe that Pastor Piri can be redeemed. He must just stop this madness, stop the lies, especially about me, a person who has went out of their way to help you and you go and that's very low. Mm. I think even him, he feels bad. Yesterday, he was in Swaziland with his brother. He said to his brother, he wants us to meet. He wants to talk to me and apologize. The only apology I will take from Pastor Piri, it's if he goes public. Because he went public to do the damage. So and let's, the, let yeah, the apology be. Let the apology be public. Because now that he's sober, that's one thing about him. Anything he does when he... Epuzile. Panic. It's panic. Even... If you know Pastor Piri, go to, through that video, Solomon, check the body language, the shaking. I, I You can tell that something is not right. You need to fix yourself. Mm. He you said, can. when the brother asked him, why did you do this to Tuli? He said, I was trying to do a counter, I don't know, Ibi Zen, a counter attack. And there was no attack initially. There was no attack. My only enemy is the devil. I don't hate anyone, even Ukuku. Mm. Much as she has came and saw me, mm. I don't hate Gugu. Mm. I don't hate anybody. I don't hate Pastor Pierre. I don't, there is no human being who can stand here and I say, I hate you, no. And so, yeah, no, that's a very... So I think I got, I got the rounds of the story mm. and it fills in the holes. It fits a lot of the things that we've seen, the headlines. Yes. Because for me... The Pastor Piri that we saw publicly, and then the Pastor Piri that is the article saying that he was arrested at the wife's house. Yeah. Uh, that story, you know, stories like no, that. No, the thing is when he went to the house, yeah, okay, mm. because at that time, it was still his house. They've given up. Mm. They said, you're wasting your time. There's some, Madam Speaker posted a video on YouTube. Another person actually commented there. To say to you, you are wasting your time, oh, Pastor Piri. He will never come right. I don't believe there is a person who is who's too far gone. Yeah. Me, I've done so many mistakes. Nami, 